In this video, I'm going to show you how to do column addition. Now, column addition is quite straightforward, but we need to remember one thing. We always start at this side of the number, the far right. Usually, they are the units, but if we have decimals, then we start with the smallest number, so it might be the tenths or the hundredths, but either way, we start with the smallest number. So, if we had a question like this, 43 plus 23, we start with the units, 3, add 3, and our answer goes underneath is 6. Then we move on to this next column here, 4, add 2, or 40, add 20, is 60, so our answer is 66. Likewise with this question, we start with the units, 6 plus 0 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, 2 plus 3 is 5, and 8 plus 1 is 9, so our answer is 9,546. Now with number 3, it's a little bit more tricky. We can't fit this number into the box because 8 plus 3 is 11. Now 11 is two digits, and we can't squeeze more than one digit into one of these boxes. So what we do instead is we put the units of that number in the box here, and we carry over the next number. Now because 11 is made of two ones, the unit ones goes in here, and the tens ones goes in the next column. Now we add 6, add 6, plus the one that we carried, so 6 add 6 is 12, add the one, it's 13. So the 3 goes in this box, because again it's two digits, and the 10 goes in this column here. 7 add 2, add 1 is 10, so the 0 goes in this box, and the 10 goes here. 4 plus 1 add 1 is 6, so our answer is 6. 1031. And again with number 4 we have the same problem that we're going to have numbers to carry. So 7 plus 7 is 14, so the 4 goes in the box and the 1 goes in the next column. 6 add 6 add 1 is 13, so the 3 goes in the box and the 10 gets carried over. 5 add 1 add 1 is 7, there's nothing to carry over. And 3 and 4 make 7, so our answer is 7734. Okay, there's a few more examples for you. Now, I mentioned earlier that we start on the far right, and in this case we are in decimals, so we have our tenths here. Four tenths add five tenths, our answer goes underneath, nine tenths. Now, because we have a decimal point here, that's all that goes in the column underneath. Three plus three is six, four plus two is six, so our answer is 66.9. It's very important that we put the decimal point in there, otherwise our answer is completely wrong. Okay, for number six, it's the same thing. We start with the tenths. Six tenths add zero tenths is six tenths. Again, we're putting our decimal point in. Two plus three is five, and 80 plus 10 is 90. So our answer is 95.6. And in our last example, we're gonna to have to carry over some numbers. Now, because eight add three is 11, and we remember that we can't squeeze more than one digit into the box here, we're going to have to carry a number. Now, the trick with the decimals is we, uh, we have to skip the decimal point. We don't put the number in the decimal point column because that will create confusion and completely change our answer. So starting here, eight plus three is 11. The one of the 11 goes in there, and the tens goes in this column here. Nothing gets put in this column other than the decimal point. Now we move on to this column. 7 plus 4 plus the one we've carried is 12. So the 2 of the 12 goes in there and the 10 gets carried. 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. So our answer is 62.1. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. Have a look at the resources provided with the video and have a practice for yourself.